Hey guys, this is the review for Love and Hip Hop Season 6, Episode 5. So we actually start this off where it left off, which is Mo getting into an argument with Mariah Lynn over Cisco. And it's funny because what ends up happening is, you know, they they don't really throw hands because they're security. But I must say, I'm definitely with Mariah Lynn on this point and that. Uh, as of right now, she's one of my favorite characters because even though she comes off a little bit uh, extra and it doesn't come off authentic sometimes with like her confessionals, it feels too on. At the end of the day, at least, I feel like the uh, content is authentic even if the delivery isn't. So, but yeah, she's just saying that. And she's funny too because she was like, you know what, yo, I'm not even mad that we fought. I don't understand it. But you know what? At the end of the day, I don't even drink liquor like that. But the liquor was on the floor and it was wasted. How are you going to waste liquor? <laughs> it's just like, okay. Okay, then. So then, and of course, she kisses Cisco. And um, there's that. So after that, we have Mandisi's surprise. He's not in jail yet. We do find out that he's actually uh, going to jail. I don't know when, but I know he's going to be there for eight years or so. But how they made it seem like was, oh, and Yandy's like, she's time to be a strong mother and do this for her family. But wait, there goes Mandisi's. And that's when we realized it's like, oh, so his uh, original case was put off. So they have more time together type of thing. And so, again, that's really nice. And it was cool to see the whole moment because it's really interesting because they made it really seem like he wasn't going to go to jail. But we know he is. That's why I even tweeted out, like, hold up. Something's not right here. But anyway, the next thing is actually with the one, the only, uh, Peter Guns and Tyra. I'm so tired of this. I love you. I love you not. I love you. I love you. Why you treat me this way? Why you treat me this way? Come on now. At this point, are we really going to play those type of games? Are we really going to play those type of games? Because my whole thing is that, ah, oh, so tiring. Tyra's supposed to be the smart, educated black woman. And she's just going and making a mockery of herself. Because she's trying to put the blame on Peter when she still entertains being in a relationship with him. And so I'm like, at the end of the day, why are you entertaining this and trying to make us feel sorry for you and make Peter feel bad when you should feel bad for loving this guy who treats you so bad? And then, you know, with her whole, I'm just trying to say... It's like, really? Really? But it's funny, because in this episode, she gets so upset that... I don't know, where is she from? Because she sounds like she has a little country twang to her that she tries to hide. But I was like, oh, there's something there. And so, that was what I was laughing at during, throughout the scene. Because I'm like, oh, she's mad because she's not enunciating. She's using slang. And I'm like, oh, okay. I can appreciate this. So, yeah... After all of that, we actually have Yandy and Young B, or Bianca or Brianna. They are in the studio, and Young B's late. And Yandy's like, "You wasted my time the first time when you got into that mess with the uh, with Mo. And so now you're gonna go and you're gonna go and be late. Come on now. So then after that." She goes and talks to her and explains to her, you know what, you need help. There's something off. There's something wrong with you, and I'm going to fix you. And I'm like, okay, Andy, we've seen this before. We'll see how this goes. And, you know, Young B's like, you know, I understand what Andy's saying is right. But at the end of the day, I just don't want to hear it right now. So Andy's going to set her up with Tara, uh, etiquette class. And so we'll see how that goes because there's a special guest. The next scene is actually with Mariah Lynn. Mariah Lynn, she's acting real extra. And I'm like, damn, what's wrong with her? Find out her mom's in jail. So she had to use her own rent money, which was either eight or $900 to 
to actually bail her out of jail. And of course, this isn't the first time. And Mariah Lynn's pissed because it's like, you know, I had to cancel a studio session where I could possibly, uh, yes, I said possibly, make money on this to go and help you out. And you're going to go and do this to me? Are you kidding me type of thing? And so she's just like, you know what? I'm an addict. And she's like, why do you have to steal? Why do you have to steal? You know, I, I just, I don't understand. I know there's something wrong with me. I just have to. It's like, you don't have to do anything. Why do you have to steal? And she's not wrong. It's like, but again, her mom's an addict. So that's the whole mentality. It's like, you're not in control of things. So, and she looks stressed out. I was like, damn, this is a real moment. This is a real moment. And I was feeling a little bad because I'm like, this episode was actually pretty good because everything felt authentic enough. Some people, you know, are just how they are. So I don't believe them regardless of what's going on. But yeah, Mariah Lynn, what ends up happening is her mom drops a bomb. It's like, by the way, Ah, uh, you going to have a little brother or sister. You going to have a little brother or sister. And I'm thinking to myself, damn. <laughs> damn, damn. <laughs> like, why? <laughs> That's so messed up. And it was just like, at her age, and of course she's not aging well because she's not taking care of herself. And it's just like, Damn. You done messed up, and now you possibly may go to jail for shoplifting? For shoplifting, of all things. Oh, and side note, I'm trying to figure out who is gassing up Mariah Lynn's head, because she keeps thinking that she's this big artist. This big artist, and I know, of course, you have to aim for the top, but you have to slowly make your way up there. And I, she hasn't done that. I'm like, okay, you have your song played on the radio. That doesn't make you a success. I could go and do that. That wouldn't make me a success or relevant. Well, maybe relevant for a moment, but relevancy is fleeting. So there's that. And then the next scene is we have Cardi B and Young B. They're actually going and um, they're doing this like Zumba class. And I didn't even realize that the guy there was the guy who was instructing them. I wasn't paying attention that much to the people in the front. I was just paying attention to Young B and Cardi B because, you know, she was doing her usual extra self. And it was funny because Cardi B's hilarious. She was like, you know what? I sit down. Was, uh, I have asthma. And she, she was like, you know what? I love you, but don't ever take me to something like this again. We might as well just go to the club and make that shmoney. <laughs> and so then they sit down and, uh, she was just like how uh it was funny because the whole thing was young b started to talk to her about what's going on with her and yandy and taking the etiquette classes and how yandy is um she's trying to help her and cardi b's like yeah my manager is trying to do the same thing he's trying to do the same thing and so he's just like you need to do something because you know you have that accent whenever you talk <laughs> so <laughs> she's like uh, he claims i have an accent but i can't be i can't speak properly <laughs> i can't speak classic <laughs> so you know they bond over that and then cardi b cardi, cardi b is a mess she is so funny like i would love a show with cardi b Jocelyn and then one or two more people to kind of balance them out because you can't have like an hour or 40 something minutes of that even that would be too much of a good thing so we have Lexi going to meet uh, with one of the members of Mo Naughty, sorry one of the members of Naughty by Nature and uh, I forgot his name Trill? Trev? I'm sorry I messed up the name but He's friends with, uh, of course, Mo's father, and so DP. And so they go and meet, and they talk, and they talk. And he's basically like, you know what? If someone's dragging you down, you have to tretch. I'm so sorry, tretch. Tretch. And um, 
treacherous like if someone's dragging you down you have to cut them because you realize you go to these places you go to these events these clubs and djs aren't going to want to deal with you because the reality is they're going to see you as a risk if you do something and start a fight or cause real drama in their establishment they're going to lose money they're going to lose opportunities and so they're not going to want to bring you on because they'll see you as a risk and so that's when uh lexi really starts to ponder you know possibly going solo and cutting her friend loose after that we have this really touching but sad scene where it's Amina and actually Peter Gunn's, I don't know if it's his oldest daughter, because he has a couple of kids, but his daughter, and of course she's beautiful, and she's smart, and it's just like, thankfully, the mom, and probably him as well, taught her right, and was essentially knows what not to do because of seeing and hearing all the stuff. And you know, Amina, this is where she admits that, yeah, she did have the abortion she was pregnant and I'm just like okay you say you still love Peter and you did this for you because you're finally doing something for you but my whole thing is you just now ended a uh, life are you still gonna go back to Peter and it potentially happen again because then that's when all hell's gonna break loose and I don't care what anyone says or does in regards to you and your actions because yeah so of course she's really emotional and she needs the support and so Whitney's there for her that's uh, Peter's daughter's name Whitney and it's really touching to see because it's just again a nice refreshing change of pace between the two well the dynamics of what we usually see Amina there for. And so then the next scene is actually with Cardi B, Tara, and Young B. They're going to <laughs> etiquette class, to Tara's etiquette class, and it's a mess because Cardi B, she's clearly there for the entertainment value. We know this, Tara even knows this, that's why Tara is just letting her go and do whatever. And so they do silly things like they do role playing and it's here's an example it's like okay so uh so cardi b tell me about yourself well you know my name is cardi b and i'm from the bronx and i'm here to get this money tara's like okay well there's more to you isn't there and she was like uh yeah i Yes. And so then they move on to, for example, sipping the tea and Cardi B's having trouble because she has the long fingernails. So it's crazy that Cardi B are the same age, but, or maybe I'm a year. Yeah. So she's sipping the tea and she's like, you know, I'm having a little trouble. These nails aren't helping me out. So it's like, <laughs> and I'm just saying this whole time, it was like five or six minutes of them just going back and forth with this, but it was hilarious. And, um, of course, they were trying to do mouth exercises, and it was like, we're doing vocal warm-ups, so, and then it was like, open your mouth, I'm not doing that, but it was like, open your mouth, <laughs> and they were, and Cardi B was like, yeah, no, her guy's in jail, so she's not doing all that, her tongue isn't getting any work, and I'm like, Oh God, we gotta pray for her. So then after that, <laughs> after that, yeah, her man's incarcerated, so her mouth hasn't been used in a long time. <laughs> so, so then she was like, well, you know, your attire is not working out too well because all of this is showing and then business meeting, that's not what you want. And Cardi B was like, yeah, it is. My mouth is kind of, messed up so well not kind of she was like my mouth is messed up so i don't want them to look at my mouth i want them to look down there <laughs> yeah and so it was just again this went on for like six minutes and it was amazing because it was kind of cool to see this 
kind of stuff on the show versus the usual drama. And so then after that, we have Mariah Lynn. She goes and talks with her mom. And again, it's really touching because her mom was actually willing to uh, go to jail for her in order to get her, what was it, $800, $900 back. And in the back of my mind, I was also thinking like the rest of you guys, like, where in New York can you rent a place for by yourself? For eight hundred, nine hundred dollars. That's almost like, damn. Where is Mariah Lynn living? <laughs> but anyway, it was just touching to see them come together because before she was arguing about how you know what you've always been a mess and you know you need to get yourself together and this and that. So worst come to worst, she of course didn't want to lose her mom, and but the judge was really lenient because again she was willing to take a year in jail just so that her daughter could get back the money that she put up for her as bail. And so it was touching to see them come together. And she was like, regardless of what happens, I still love you. And that's why I'm like, all right, this is what we need from her. Cause I was trying to figure out why is she on this show? And it's like, all right, that backstory makes sense to why she's willing to just kind of throw herself here, throw herself there for an opportunity. So the last thing is Lexi goes to DP, who is, of course, Mo's father. And they have a talk about, you know, Mo and even her dad's like, you know what? Yeah, she does have a big head now and she needs to quit it. And she is doing too much. I don't know where she got all this cockiness from and vibrato. And this is where you see the big blow up because it wasn't just Mo her father and Lexi. It was also her mom and her sister. And so you had the mom, the sister on Mo's side and DP on Lexi's side. And of course that pissed off Mo because it was like, how is my father agreeing with her? And so that's when Lexi was like, you know what? Forget it. I'm going solo. And so that was it. That was it for this episode. Please like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. Uh, again, this episode was really good in my opinion. Next episode, you see things like Can Yandy and Mo looking like they may work together. Ra is going to try and use Mariah Lynn for um, her fashion line. And she's also going to ask uh, Lexi to do so because that's her friend. And then this is where we see the blow up, blowout between... Uh, Remy Ma and Ra and I'm just kind of like what is Remy Ma doing because why is she barely on the screen what's going on here was her life just not that interesting enough to put on camera at that point so we'll see and let me know what you think come back next week